think the most memorable dress I've ever made is probably Zara Phillips' dress. Um, just from the impact it had, the trending on Twitter. I think the most exciting was going to the Middle East once and going into a palace and doing, went with 15 hanging boxes of amazing dresses and pieces to des uh, design a dress for a girl that had never met her husband before. What can I say? I have to say 1981 and I have to say, don't I, Diana, Princess of Wales. Um, it was an extraordinary occasion. She was beautiful, she was divine, um, and it just was a simple phone call. Would we do the honour of making her wedding gown? The weirdest request I ever had was uh, a young Spanish bride requesting to bring in her fiancé. And uh, he then took over the entire wedding. He, he took over the creation of the gown and every finite detail of it. And, and I actually felt rather sorry for the girl. I just thought, I'm not sure this is boding well for the marriage. People wanting to wear blue knickers is actually quite a, quite a weird request, but under a slinky dress. It's like, if you wear blue knickers, everyone is going to see it at your wedding. So I don't, I don't think that's really the look you want. So we, we try and manage a lot of people's weird requests. I can remember a black wedding dress we did for someone who got married in Kenya. Had this lovely, delicious bride who came in and we were talking. We did, I did some, prepared some sketches. We completed the gown. And so I said, well, what's, you know, when is the, the date? Oh, there is no date. I said, sorry, what? Oh, no, um, I haven't got a man. I'm just getting the gown ready because of inflation. She bought the gown in advance. No man on the scene. And I think that has to be the weirdest. Well, ideally, we would love somebody to start thinking about a dress six months before. Um, we can do them sooner than that. Uh, but I would say, sort of, I think four or five months is our lead time. For me, I like nine months. We like to have about eight months, ideally. Obviously, if, if there's a fabric that the bride fell in love with, and I could get it flown in from Paris or Switzerland, hey, we can work it quicker. Making a bespoke dress is as long as a piece of string. It really depends on the client that you're working with. But I, I always like six months to, to work on a bespoke dress. I think if you're getting married in a cathedral, perhaps something too sexy is not the best idea. But if you're getting married on a beach, if you're having a wonderful garden wedding, I don't think it matters how sexy the dress is. I think as long as you're confident in it, that's the most important thing. Men want to be marrying a, a wife that doesn't look like she's stuck on top of a wedding cake. He wants to be marrying a sort of woman, a sexy woman. And I think the younger generation coming through are celebrating their femininity in that way. And they don't feel like they have to look like they're kind of from Big Fat Gypsy Wedding. It's all down to the girl. If she's sexy and she looks sexy, she's got a hot figure, go for it. And if that's what she wants. But I think it's got to be appropriate. I love a sexy wedding gown. I, I feel girls are quite often getting married a little bit later, they're women and they're often having a party in the evening as part of their wedding and why shouldn't they look sexy and gorgeous and, and glamorous? I think if you go back in time and you could have created Grace Keller's dress, it's the dress that everybody kind of thinks that they love most. I think that would probably be my, my favourite one. Grace Kelly springs to mind. She's always a beauty that would have been lovely, but I mean, she looked stunning. She would have looked stunning in a dustbin bag, but it would have been lovely to do her, I suppose, yeah. The only one, perhaps you can tell me, the only one I'd love to do is Charlize Theron. Now, is she married? I don't think she is. I mean, she'd be great to do. I wish I'd done Carolyn Bassett uh, when she was marrying John F. Kennedy Jr. Um, I think she was such a cool woman, so beautiful, uh, but I love how she looked on her wedding day. We had this beautiful dress for a very big wedding in Ireland and uh, the train was really, really long and the mother came in with her dog and uh, the dog went up to the back of the wedding dress, cocked his leg, peed down the back of the wedding dress, and we had to rush it in the back and clean it. And I mean, there was nothing, it wasn't my fault. And uh, luckily it was fine. Major disasters. Again, I go back to the old Emmanuel days. In those days, I used to take silk chiffon and hand tint them, pale, whatever colors, you know, and with antique lace. And we, we, design, we would tint them and dye them in house. This particular, it was all dyed, it was beautiful, I put it on the side and I was, the next batch we would design was something in black. 
and one of my seamstresses by accident had put the dress into the black. Put it this way, it took one day to get it back to where it should have been, but we did it. Don't ask me how, but it went from black black into soft ivory. Thank you.